Welcome to the Sith Story Cup, it's day number three, the second group stage, and we will have the match between Gara and Vortex. Yes. So, uh, both players banned their paladins, so we won't see the... Who am I? None of your, your business. business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it will be more fun, I think, that way, because uh, we have seen many games won by that paladin. Mm -hmm. It's... It's kind of awkward sometimes, but the deck is good overall. So yeah, we're starting the game, and uh, that was very fast. It's we have Gara, the best shaman, shaman on Shaman. Of course, yeah, <laughs> it's really great to see. Uh, I haven't have seen I, I haven't seen uh, Gara's decks yet. Yeah, I have actually seen Vortexes, so I can at least comment on that. Um, let's get the feed from Vortex now, though. It's um hmm. I would like mulligan everything except for Haunted Creeper, in my opinion. Would be Well, I don't know. Um I Yeah. I might actually wait. It's a priest. Oh yeah, he mulliganed everything, so Yeah yeah yeah. For cleric. Double rock <laughs> Okay. Well at least he can uh, clear the cleric yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So much burst. And vortex Oh, yeah, and the Twilight Walls, of course. Yeah, that's good. Um, should ask Vortex to yeah, invite allow us to spectate, to spectate the game <laughs> so we can see his, his cards. cards. Yeah. <coughs> and Gara actually got his Rock Biter just the next turn. <laughs> and the Haunted Creeper, everything he mulliganed just returned to him. Well, it's not bad in this situation. Yeah. I, I like this uh, Shaman already, because it can deal a lot of damage, a lot mm -hmm. of burst. So, yeah. Just go for the clear. For sure. And, well, healing tide not really useful at this point. It's like it's like uh, the Dark Girl Twist is, in my opinion, well, one of the better three drops in the game. Especially for Priest, so... Yeah, we should clear that. But we have a Twilight Guardian. Uh, I think he's in busy mode, so oh, he won't so be able to see her <laughs> message, <laughs> actually. Okay. Yeah, we should we should ask Vortex after the game number one, I think. Oh, well, yeah. If, yeah. Probably he won't see mm -hmm. the message. So, yeah, we're just wondering what the Vortex X hand is. Well... Okay, it's a Valen's chosen. chosen. Well, luckily for Gara, he actually got the hex to deal with it, so that's really good in this situation. But uh, should you should you go like um, the ro uh, uh, the Doom Hammer or just coin the Elemental and then uh, Raptor? It? Yeah, to the Drake mm. and deal to damage to the face. We know Vortex has a lot of threats in his deck. Pro Gara probably knows it, but uh, he does yeah. decide going with the Hex on the Twilight Guardian. So, yeah. In case, yeah, in case there's a Light Bomb, so it's a, it's an okay move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. So, guys, we'll be right back just to get the feed from the other player, so... You wanna quit the game? You don't I like Hearthstone? I do not want to quit <laughs> the game, no, no. <laughs> That's a no-no. Okay, so, so we're watching the starting screen, we can go to solo adventures, I think. And then we go no? Vortex as well. Okay, okay we got yeah, it. we're returning to the game. There we go, there's the hand. Nice. So, yeah, uh, what does he have? He has Dark Cultist, he has Shadow or Death. Wormrest Agent and uh, another Villain's Chosen and um, oh. Shadow or Death. And he decides to buff it as well. Guess he's just gonna... Th th does Gara actually play Urshocks in this deck? I, I suppose that he's not, hence why uh, Vortex used his Villain's Chosen on the Wormrest Agent. Um, yeah, I haven't seen the, um, the deck as I said, so yeah, not mm. sure myself. I think Vortex should know best. So, yeah, I guess that's the play. 
<coughs> yeah, so, so now, would you now um, coin out the fire elemental and trade? Well, you don't really need to coin it out, but yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's six I mana. Well, if your opponent didn't have a light bomb nor a holy nova for last turn, and I'm not sure if uh, Gar is playing a bloodless shaman, but I would assume that he might actually play it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think you, I if you want to be on the safe side, you go with the Fire Elemental clear. Uh, but, but, but he does decide not to go for it. And uh, he's just going to equip his Power Mace and uh, yeah, clear the Cleric that way. Okay, yeah, th that's okay. He's just yeah. playing around the Shadow Word Death because it would be a huge setback. Yeah, and uh, for sure, and there's a like uh, anti kill bot, so he can always heal himself. So exactly. dealing damage to your face is not a problem. And he draws the cleric, not completely useful right now, but it might turn out to be just the opposite. Soon, yeah, so. I think I think for now, uh, I don't know for the rest of the game, but cleric is kind of unplayable since uh, Gara would like clear the ward every turn. Yeah. So it's true. a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Well, oh, a mana side totem. No, oh, that's a nice one. So, yeah, he plays heal bots so he can, so buff, he can it. buff it. Yeah. yeah. That was good. And also, um, he's like playing around the Shadow Ward Death. So in case well he has it, he mm -hmm. mm, will have to kill the anti kill bot. Now he's thinking if the opponent might just accidentally have a Cabal Shadow Priest, so he would actually steal the Mana Titan, that would be extremely bad for him. But at least, the positive thing is that he won't, if he does have a Cabal Shadow Priest, he won't be able to play the Shadow Word Death as well that turn, so he he can trade in his uh, heal bot for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I would so definitely yeah. like coin out the, the Mana yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's the... You do get a card from it, and your opponent will get one card from it, but still, y you can do the favorable trade next turn anyway. Just fire elemental the mana tight totem and, yeah, and trade the heal bot into the cabal. So he does gets decide to go with the mana tight totem, and uh, usually, as a shaman, also you cannot draw the cards. There's no way you can draw, b and this play is really great. Yeah. And, and the opponent can't deal with it right now. Yeah, as we see, there's no uh, Cabal Shadow yeah. Priest. Well, he w yeah, and he will. Um, well, uh, <laughs> he will be able to deal with it next turn, maybe. But the Shaman will most likely clear his board again, which is quite problematic for Vortex here. Yeah, until until Vortex draws some AoE, the snowball will continue from the Shaman side. Mm. So yeah, he's actually dedicating to killing the anti kill bot. Viking storm. Mm, yeah, it might be useful later on. And now and Gara can actually one. like yeah, playing Doomhammer, killing the Drake, yep. and drawing more cards. Which is insane. And he probably will think about putting that Hound the Creeper down. Because or another totem. Yeah, another totem would be the better play, just to play around. But obviously the Hunter Creeper is be the better play, but he sure. doesn't know that the opponent doesn't have the Cabal. There we go, he does go with it. So So yeah, there's also a Drake uh, in Vortex deck, so he can play the Quarter yeah. Master? You mean... Or I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Blackwing Corruptor, sorry. Usually I play the Russian version of Hearthstone. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot some <laughs> name of the cards. Sorry for that, guys. There's the AoE. That uh, broadcast be triggered. <laughs> 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 for sure, man, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the stream, everyone, by the way. So yeah, he Gara gets another power mace hmm. and a crackle. And I don't think he's able to clear right now, like efficiently clear. Um, mm. Yeah. Since he got um, yeah, there's no way spell uh, power totem, oh he can actually oh like uh, crackle the uh, Blackwing Corruptor and then and go face to uh, yeah Dark Cultist. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an easy clear, actually. Oh, oh, yeah. He can just owl and uh, that's a really good turn. Oh, there he, he even decides to yeah. 
go for nice. a better NG. He will get punished by the Holy Nova. I wasn't thinking of Oh, and he gets the higher roll on the That's Dark that's Cold. really lucky. Yeah. So yeah, now everything will die. And well I th the the hand from Vortex is like a, a little Drake uh cleric and a couple of spells it's not what you want right now in the game because you need more healthy creatures to establish the board since like you have the holy nova you can play it, it the drake like ezra drake would be really great here yeah definitely yep. so mm -hmm. yeah vortex is like thinking about his next move since uh he actually considering not playing Holy Nova thing uh, here, I think, so he can clear more the next turn. No, no, okay. There we go. Yeah. And he will not be playing any minions because yeah, it's an easy clear by the yeah. Doom Hammer. He's, he's playing oh, around wow. the Bloodlust, I think. Two Doom Hammers. That is very greedy. Do you think that um, that move, uh, Vortex, were playing around the Bloodlust? Most likely, yeah. I mean, double doom hammer. I don't. Th he, hmm. Since he might he not, not actually run uh, bloodlust if he has double doom hammer. Because uh. yeah, he has a lot of damages by those weapons. Now he got a power shield. That's good. Oh, and oh. second cleric. Well, it's not too useful. Yeah, you cannot even use the shadow or pain on anything yeah. like a totem, only. But what's the point? It is v extremely unlucky. I mean, uh, priest is most uh, priest is almost always favored against shaman just because uh, the cabal shadow priest will always have a target to steal, and uh, <laughs> yeah, vortex did not draw a single cabal shadow priest. Yeah, and also in the early game you have like clerics, so you can draw cards because yeah, shaman exactly. yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit unlucky. You can play shredder here. <sighs> well, Gara is. In the lead, by f quite a lot, actually. I mean, yeah, and again, uh, Shadow Ward Pain would be really useless. Yeah, well, unless he gets a viable target from the Shredder that he can clear with. But he first needs to kind of kill the Shredder, and the Black Moon Corruptor would be a really nice draw next turn. Well, a Light Bomb would as well, somewhat. So, or Gar goes. Smork a bit, cause yeah, next turn he has a lethal with a with a good crackle. Yep. <laughs> and he actually gets the Gabble Shadow Priest, but it's Kinda a bit late. late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really late. So, yeah, I think it's a game for game number one goes in favor of Gar. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, looking at Vortex's next uh, decks, Let what could he mind. possibly play? Uh, huh. I think you should just pick up the warrior. Warrior, yeah, yeah, yeah. The warrior should be able to finish off either the shaman or the hun hunter for sure. Um. Oh yeah, and he does play the. Control warrior, as far as I remember. So he actually he heals himself, Self, but yeah, yeah flame tone totem. That pickup. That's gonna be it. Yeah. Great draw, man. Yeah. That's uh, wait six eight. <laughs> actually, it's one. Gar no, was no, like, he, he has uh, lethal, yeah. wh what? With the crackle. I have the lethal. What I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So yeah, game number one goes in favor of temper storm player. And. Gara. Yeah, and I think we'll see the warrior in the next game from Vortex. So, hello everyone again. <laughs> and yeah. most likely the warrior. Do you think Kara will stay with the shaman? Uh, he might. I mean, the Kara will uh, stay with the shaman since it's last hero standing. Mm. E oh yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. Feels good, man. Right <laughs> to know the rules of the tournament. I I do know the rules. I yeah, kind of. Uh, confused there yeah. a bit. <laughs> Some yeah, because well, the format oh was yeah. changed from BlizzCon, so there was a whole year of uh, like conquest format, and 
it's now back to here. Yeah, Unless you're standing, I, I, I it's completely <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> ignore the fact. Yeah, that sometimes you can't, you can't forget. So well, actually, oh, Vortex he, he gets through. Okay. Oh, I see an innovate. That reminds me of my matches today. You know. All right, and <laughs> I haven't seen the owl uh, and Argus from Gara in the previous game, so I, I'm getting like the picture of what. Oh, and the zone. That's that's th very anti-aggro. Well, great draws, but well, then again, there's like a great hand from Vortex, mm -hmm. a really great hand. Vortex just needs a uh, Doctor Seven on turn two, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like that would be insane. <laughs> would you like? Would you like uh, considering playing uh, coin? Coin into the wild graveyard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I have two innervates. I can play a lot of things next turn. I would definitely go for it. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's that's not the greedy play. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the correct play. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Two in a race, you know. The the hand from Gara for so far looks so good. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. good. It's carrying out really nicely. Oh man. And well, I guess you just go You shouldn't innervate uh, a lot of No no no, hell no. For sure. It's it would be such a waste because it is somewhat well, he, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, he might be considering it actually, or he's just gonna maybe clear something with the wrath, or maybe cycle to get a higher end card, like a Doctor Boom or something, or just kill off the. Yeah, for those who aren't familiar with the format, it's like her uh, left hero standing. You play until you lose then you change your class and if you lose you need to change the class so yeah it's not it's opposite to uh, conquest format when you win and you change the class so yeah and we see and we see for three. Oh yeah he's trying to scare the opponent uh, uh, into thinking that he has a swipe clear so he doesn't play anything fishy and really but lucky Gara <laughs> gets yeah the taunt totem yeah so he can clear keeper, the keeper must go down, yeah. Mm. There's those were really bad uh, following draws, like from Vortex. And he gets a pop power mace. mace. Mm -hmm. He can clear the thing, or should should he actually go with the mana totem? That would be a I'm more not sure. greedy play. I'm not sure. If um, hmm, I wonder if there's um, other uh, mech. Um, creatures in uh, Gar's deck, um, like besides the uh, antique killbot, there must be. I haven't seen a single mech. That that's a very good question. Yeah, it like, even feel th like there were mech only uh, hillbots, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the hillbot. That's interesting. Hmm. It's like for sure you get more control by um, playing the power mace. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, Iron Bical, it's not the best thing you can imagine. Let's hope for a good crackle. No, oh, never lucky. Yeah. So yeah, you need to clean that with your face. Iron is not happy about that one. <laughs> but neither is the Vortex with his draws. I mean... I'm not even sure that... Uh, Shaman plays anything uh, above six health except for maybe Doctor Boom potentially. So yeah, and Vortex just used the Innervate just to clear the uh, Zombie Chow, so uh, a lot that wouldn't get uh, cleared this turn. I'm really liking this power mace with the <laughs> Hillbot combo. Yeah, it's like five five. Hello, man. Yeah. Would you like to trade? But it's yeah, Vortex idea. Vortex doesn't like to trade. He goes swipe, then face the anti kill bot, and goes face with low tap. It's a great, great move, great turn. The only thing I don't like about that deck is just the double doom hammer. I think it's overkill, but come on, garbage. I mean, he knows best. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> sure. 
Ah, it's so sad. He's just missing the one mana to be able to play the Doomhammer as well. Mm. And I'm pretty... Oh, okay. He goes for a Drake to draw more cards. That and is... Yeah, since we, we have seen that uh, Gara runs two Rockbiter rock bite weapons, uh, he's actually... He Well, he did see the Innervate, so he's probably not afraid of a potential Innervate combo. But that was quite greedy, I'd say. Well, not greedy. He wouldn't have died anyway, but... Uh, but still... He was yeah, he was one of lethal. One of lethal. Yeah, for sure. But uh, like I said before, you, you cannot draw cards uh, when you're playing Shaman, so you get... The opportunity you use it. Right. I mean, it would make sense if Gar played Treaders as well, because yeah, it's the best card, <laughs> best <laughs> for draft, <laughs> and it's a mech, so yeah, works really well with the power mech. I think he he probably runs Shredders, No. Yeah, he must. He must be running Shredders. It's weird that we didn't re have s have seen one. Yeah, so for two games, it's like one anti-kill bot, and Ooh. that's just it. Is she, is she really considering doing the Force of Nature? That's interesting. I don't know. I, I would have saved that Force of Nature for a potential combo. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, And yeah, I would have just played the Shade and... Uh, huh. But yeah, it's like... Okay, uh, I think I get it. It's like when you're you're a bit ahead, so you need to push for damage since there's no like possibility to clear the low tip, uh like without en engaging your own face. Yeah, I true. think. No, well, no respect for uh, lightning storm. <laughs> well. It's like he can't play anything else. Uh, exactly. I mean, it's the correct line of play. And yeah, it's it's never. It's really unlucky for Vortex since he got the two innovates from the beginning of the game, but he didn't use the second one until like he has ten mana already. A bit unlucky. So Gara plays 3-4 and... Hmm. Uh, would you like to clear Dernasus with your face, but still you will die you to the combo. You are in combo range then. Right. Yeah. Well, right. he does have the shade, kind of. Uh, he will lose anyway, so... But he kind of needs to risk it. Yeah, but still, uh, Gara have seen that uh, one Force of Nature has been used. And, um, yeah. and there's a, a card that uh, in, in the hand from turn one. That's the inner rate. He's really afraid of that combo. For sure, for sure. It's like, okay, if he... The Gaia's mindset right now is like he used the mm, force of nature just to clear the board, mm -hmm. just to establish, so he might uh, mm, get the the combo, actually, and mm -hmm. kill me. So, yeah, I think it's a great move. Yeah. And, well, yeah, he's kind of se setting up a uh, lethal with the rock biter, when Fury. That's like 10 damage plus the 2-2 two -two from... Uh, yeah, and Ooh. yeah, and the game number two will go again in favor of Gara. No, 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 no. What? He, he's clearing. He's clearing. Oh yeah. And how c can he actually clear? He doesn't have lethal right it's now. Um, it's um. It's fifteen damage. Oh yeah, I. Mi oh yeah, for sure. I miscalculated. Sorry guys. Yeah. That's why I don't play. I'm just a manager. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get salty. <laughs> if you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh yeah. so yeah, it's really, it's really close. Uh, and no tone totem. Yeah. That, that was one out. Well, <laughs> one out for uh, an extra turn of life. So. Okay, what do you do here? Uh, still, it's like. Uh, he will have to clear the board. That's the only way he lives right now, and he luckily for him. Vortex doesn't really have anything in his hand. The innervate is just a dead draw, dead card. I mean, in his hand. Okay, so uh, would you like uh, clear uh, big game hunter with your face, then go uh, the second? Uh, okay. 
I would, just yeah. because I'm dead to the combo anyway. So for sure, you need, <laughs> you need to gamble here. You need to gamble here. That's the only way he can win. Oh, ancient of lore. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, if he have goes green, we we have seen uh, just. Have we seen swipes in this game? I don't think so. If he gets swiped, there's he one piece of combo. And all right. Yeah, that's a lethal. All so right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, that was a good fish. That's a really, really, really great draw. And Vortex comes back from this game and it's 1-1 one, one tied one up. One. Yeah. yeah, so Gara still has a uh, Hunter and um, Warrior. Mm. So against Druid, what would you pick? Definitely uh, Warrior. That's, yeah, the Hunter is very hard a matchup against uh, warrior and again i haven't seen garas uh hunter is it like face type or hybrid hmm. or that's mid range also a good question i have no idea because we'll it's we'll it's we'll mid range i think I, sh I i would go with hunter if it's mid range mm. okay so, so yeah he goes with the warrior yeah. actually and it's a control warrior Whoa. very heavy for cosmoda a bit of role playing here and he got the death bite on the turn. Whoa. Oh, now that's, <laughs> no, that's a hand, man. Now that's a hand. And the armor smith too, you know. Gain the armor. The <laughs> oh, so many weapons. <laughs> so many weapons. You might as well Ga switch Gara the <laughs> Yeah, Gara should <laughs> open <laughs> the weapon store. <laughs> <laughs> so many weapons. He's not particularly... I mean... Uh, <laughs> If he, if he knew that the opponent doesn't really have anything, you know, I mean, the fiery war axe is just so good to clear those aspirants. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you wonder where the hell are my weapons. And sometimes you get them all <laughs> in one hand. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the case. Well, there, there we go. There's at least an acolyte of pain, so that yeah, that's a great a top deck. Now. That's a great top deck, really. So he can m draw more cards. Mm. But Since he, he got brawl, he's not like um, he's cool. Mm. Gar is cool. And there's the death spy. Best card in game. <laughs> best card in game? Nah. I thought Nosdorm was the best card in game. No. Uh, might be. It's, it's, it's very close. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, you can't really clear uh, Nosdorm with a death spy if you don't have an execute. So. Uh. Nazdorma takes the win. Yeah. So yeah, now you just uh would would you hmm. Since you got the second weapon, I think you can go mm, bush and then trade the acolyte without bush. engaging your face. Yeah. Since you can go Doctor Seven on the next turn. Yeah, definitely. So That's the correct line of play, I think. Yeah. And Gara will be doing that. Here, Russian accent. Oh, sorry, bro. Sorry. You haven't seen, you haven't heard the Russian accent, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's Im Emperor. That will be cleared by the weapon, and then you can coin out the Doctor Boom. Yep. I think it's the best play it in is. the game to coin out the Doctor Boom. The Doctor Seven on turn six, always the best play. Well, not always. Yeah, it's like a mysterious challenger, but mm. I think, yeah, not better, but. But the discounts mm. is gonna be really nice for Vortex. Those yeah, discounts are insane. He basically has the, yeah, is that, yeah, two forces of nature. So the chat wants me to speak in Russian. Sorry, guys, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> that would be great. You can join my stream sometime. Yeah. I speak Russian there. So yeah, we we've seen that the hand was reduced by the emperor. So, but what actually do you play? It's like so yeah. many spells, so many spells, and the uh, pilot shredder. Mm. I guess he will go for the for the clear, yeah. Clear, yeah. Well, those were average boom body hits. It's like five damage. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, but oh, he noticed that he misplayed. He yeah. should have cleared the uh, armor smith first. Now he gets one more extra armor. Yeah. 
And he draws another card. Did, oh, yeah, he, he played it. It's fine. So, ooh, but there's ooh, always ooh, 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 ooh. a great card called... Do you, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now... How much damage is that? Now That's the fun begins. 4 times 6, 24? Plus face? With the inner rate? Oh my god. Yeah. What the? That, that's 26 damage he has in his hand right now. That is sick. <laughs> and there's a Ragnaros. <laughs> so if he can clear the armor, yeah, yeah, he, he can go them. potentially for the kill. And Gara will not be expecting uh, this N one coming. Not at all. Oh my god. I mean, he, he can still hit with the, you know, with the normal uh, two Savagers and Force of Nature for uh, 24. But yeah, this is 26. And oh wait, no, that's not lethal yet. I think or that's uh, nine damage plus twenty-four damage is. Uh, uh yeah, thirty. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yeah. I think he has yeah. lethal actually. No, uh, what the fuck am I talking about? Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, he has the sludge belcher. <laughs> I'm not even looking at Feel free, at man. Feel free. I, I'm not even looking at his uh, thing. Okay. So you know, it's a B stream, so you can curse here. No. <laughs> <laughs> can we have a beer here? No, not now. No, I'm just Later. kidding. I'm just kidding. Goofing <laughs> around, man. Goofing around. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Since the hero power was changed, the fun begins. And the sludge belcher continues, so oh man. He just can't get to his face. But it, this is a very strong board. Oh, he's afraid of the Gromash. Yeah, that was the correct line of play. And he's standing strong on those 31 HP. Yeah, in case he so basically wouldn't heal himself, he would die. So that was... Oh, no, he, he wouldn't die, actually. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> so, yeah, Gara has the finisher in face of Gromash, but you cannot play it right now. Yeah, yeah I'll, you just go for the brawl and hope for the best. Like, uh, yeah, if the... Are you going for the brawl without killing the Shredder? Mm, no, you kill the Shredder, then you go. Uh, or, but if you, you kill the Shredder, you you can't kill him with Gromash. Like. Uh, you can use the Shield Slam, then um, brawl, and then finish what's what's coming out. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think, but that. well, that's or not. Mm, that's risky because if the if a bigger minion survives, he he will need to waste his uh, death bite. Let's see what Gara will do. I think and he knows best. Yeah, and uh, I think actually uh, Garan. Of course, he knows that uh, Vortex runs the uh, Ragnaros, mm -hmm. so he saved that for oh. for the Ragna. And so yeah, he goes. He bro. He Let's goes. Let's see what he gets. He gets a good outcome. That's a good, uh, somewhat good. Could have been better, much better. But hey. Yeah, still oh, you. You need to. Just rope? I think he made it. Yeah, he yeah, made, he it. made it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, th this is a great turn for Vortex with that Ragnaros. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. I love this card. Like, <laughs> Ragnaros at uh, Seed Story Cup number four, this tournament, was a really MVP, in my opinion. Yes. He won many games that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. It's unexpected, you know. For sure. Like in. True, damn. <laughs> Yeah, well, as it looks right now, it's like Vortex will be able to kill him off next turn if everything goes well, you know. Unless uh, oh. we see um, an execute oh. or a second brawl if he runs no, no, no. it. No, no, If he, if we see a cruel taskmaster, he went the greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't play around the cruel taskmaster right now. Yeah. So basically, he can die next turn. So let's see. But maybe he doesn't know. He uh, like. Uh, oh, that's a slam. Oh no, never mind. He doesn't have the death bite anymore. Yeah. That's why he can't die to the thing. Sorry. Damn, I need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so 
it's like, oh yeah, I'm calculating stuff. So then I see he's That's still not even a a a on the board, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. He's fishing for an execute, and he will not get one. No, it's just an acolyte. A useless card in this state of the game, so... Yeah, pretty much. Since the, uh, like, okay, so if you play the Acolyte, actually, uh, it can be cleared uh, by uh, the face, so you die, like, from combo and then rag. Mm. Uh, or, wait, do you have enough even without the rag? Let's see. Oh, yeah, so he actually goes for tanking the face and then mm, slamming. Killing it off, yeah. He's just uh, gambling on the chance that the opponent doesn't have a combo. So Which he does, so... Yeah, the tickets. member of uh, Fate to Karma Gaming is taking game number two. Three? With, well, this is game number three. Uh, but three, but, but the score is two, two one. one. Yeah. Two to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, game number three went in his favor. Congratulations to him. <laughs> Don't look for Doomsayer. Yeah, he should have went for the Doomsayer. Would have been sure. funny. For sure. So S sometimes it happens. So I think yeah. Sometimes. You sometimes should. Lucky. You should like. You should like. If you have uh, nothing else to do, mm -hmm. you should like. Yeah. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Yeah. Obviously. So yeah, and the last class from the best shaman is uh, a hunter the actually. Ooh, with, with the flares. The flares. Yeah. Okay. So with. Yeah, it's not like those paladins. No, no, For nor sure. mages. <laughs> Let's see. But st still, uh, um, he w wait. Okay, so he runs the flare against uh, freeze mages and the secret paladins. Mm -hmm. I think even it's I don't know if, if it's one or two flares, but never mind. But still, he banned the paladin for vortex. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, well. Vortex might be actually playing uh, mid-range paladin without secrets, so oh. that that okay. might be the yeah 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 probably uh, because last time I think uh, last match that I casted that he when he was playing uh, his paladin got banned I think as well so yeah so vortex actually going for a druid of the claw mm -hmm. with inner raid and going face. No, not going face. He wants to trade. I would trade definitely. Because that tricky guy with the knives, sometimes he can get lucky. <laughs> sometimes or always. <laughs> Silence aspirant? <laughs> Kappa? <laughs> For sure. For sure. Quick shot. Pretty good draw. Yeah, you can you can clear with a Glaive Zuka and play the Leper Gnome. Lepernum, uh, it doesn't matter if you play Lepernum, oh. well, yeah, you can play Lepernum uh, after equipping the Glaive Zuka. Well, I do kind of uh, value more health in this matchup, my, my own health, so he might actually go for the quick shot and with on the Druid, but that would be a setback uh, in regards because he wouldn't have a weapon up for the next turn, so yes, he can't clear yes. the other things. But, but he is going to go Yeah, he actually... Oh! What? Oh! Oh, he's going for. Okay. Yeah, he's no. scared of a yeah. jump for play, obviously, which we can see that he doesn't not have. And he has the juggle in the Druid of the Claw. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. I might have actually gone there with the BGH because I don't think the hunters run <laughs> Doctor Boom or anything. I'm not sure. They might, but it does look like a huh. somewhat face hunter. There's no value from the Glaive Zuka. And still he uh, oh, gets the damage from the Druid of the Claw. Yeah. So I... I hmm. I'm i questioning that turn, you know. And he will so see yeah, since now that since he you doesn't have yeah. anything. He should have done that last turn, I see. If he had done that last turn... And he Vortex been. is like, okay, you you want to control? Let's, let's see that what BGH can do with you, but... Yeah. Never face, and now. Wow, the hunter not going smart. No, no. What is this? Gara not smo smorking. What do you think about that shot? I don't know. 
I want to see some more smorking. <laughs> <laughs> you will see, I think. Oh, this turn for sure. Yep. A lot of smorking. Well, and I'll see a lot of winning next turn because that Taurusen is just gonna curve so well into the combo on the seventh turn. It, it's I don't think there's a way. Yeah, it's actually Gara looking really oh. ugly for Gara. <laughs> and the innervate, just in case you know. Yeah. He's a one off lethal yeah. or something. Yeah. If you need a like. If you will get uh, another Savage Roar, you can play it, bro. You mm -hmm. can play it. For sure. I think you just race here. There's yeah. I don't think there's uh, any way that the Hunter can, like... O of course you can race, because uh, from the beginning of the game, uh, there were some problems with smoking for Hunter, so yeah. you can actually, yeah, you can race down so the... The only way the opponent would die now is double kill command into uh, Abusive Sergeant. And that is... Highly unlikely <laughs> to happen, so... Yeah. I'm Very lucky sure. lucky draw, in quotations, of course, mm. <laughs> for Gara. Haunted Creeper is not gonna do it. No, no. Not gonna do anything at all. So, yeah, let, let's see what... Of course you need to trade. Of course you need to trade with Emperor. Mm. Otherwise, you like died the next turn. No. And ac actually, it's like um, for it, it, it's fourteen uh, plus seven. Yeah, it's it's lethal. Uh -huh. It's lethal. So yeah, uh, Vortex will will take game number. I think we four. can all agree that uh, the new Smog deck is the Druid. So. Uh. So. Yeah, Vortex congratulations, will congratulations, be the first Vortex. To advance to the top eight brackets so from this group so that yeah congratulations yeah really well played fate to karma being very strong this tournament yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that was our match mm -hmm. and after a little break i think we We're will gonna continue have the losers match yeah, yeah. the loser and match. then the decider match like usual so yeah. stay tuned guys and after a little commercial or a break we break. will come back to you at Sister Cup number four, day three.